Marhaba, that's hello in Arabic. I'm Chef Kamal and you're cooking with Kamal Lebanese style. I'd like to show you the way I like to make semolina date cookies or walnut or pistachio cookies, which are known as mamul bijaws, tamar or fistu. Now traditionally, the three cookies, there are three different hand carved molds. Now for the tamar, the mold is a shallow round mold. For the jaws or the walnut, and you could also make this with cashew, or almond. It's a dome-shaped round mold. And then for the pistachio, it's this half egg-shaped mold. Now this is really a lot of fun. You could even have like a little mamul party where you prepare all the things in advance and then one person opens it, one person fills it, and then one person presses it into the hand-carved mold and pops it out onto the tray. At that point, you can go ahead and bake them or put them on a plastic lined tray and freeze them and store them in the freezer for several weeks until you bring them back to room temperature and bake them as directed in the book. So that makes them really handy to, to keep in the freezer. Now, I want to show you the semolina. This is what this is made of. This is exactly what pasta is made of. It's a very fine yellow flour. And we also had added wandra flour, which is also like this. It's like a quick mixing flour. So these fine flours are, is the, are the base for this dough. And I've already prepared everything else. I've got my walnuts. We're going to do a couple of samples of the date and walnut. The procedure remains the same for all these cookies. Okay, now what I've done is I've already portioned them into the quarter cup portion and then rolled it into this three inch cylinder and then we've cut them into three pieces. Each one of these is a portion for the cookie. And what you want to do is you want to pick up one portion, place it in your palm, and with your index finger, go ahead and pierce it, and then gently press it as you rotate it in your palm and open it up. Now it's the warmth of your hands that's going to really help you open these because it's butter and the warmth of your hands is what makes it pliable. I'm going to go ahead and drop a portion of the date, which we've already rolled into a ball, inside and close that up. We're going to take it, put it in our mold that's for the mamul, the shallow round one, and with the palm of your hand, just go ahead and press it into the mold. Then you want something nice and hard that you can tap this upper part of the mold on. Now I use my mortar, my brass mortar, and it's a nice sound and this cookie's going to come popping right out. I sort of like that. That, that means that we've just delivered a cookie. Look how beautiful that is. I think we'll do one more of those. Now again, it's the warmth of your hands, so if it's like a really cold winter day or you're assigning this job to one of your friends and they just happen to have cold hands, give them a different job and let the guy with the warm hands do this one because you're going to have, it's going to be a lot easier. The dough will be really pliable and that really does make a difference. Just go ahead and place it in. The side that we close, I always keep that up so it'll be towards the bottom that you press it with the back of your palm. Then here we go, we deliver another cookie. One nice, look at that. Beautiful. Now let's do a couple with the walnuts. I've already mixed these with the sugar and the mazahar. Now you could use almonds or cashews. And then if you wanted to do pistachio, for the pistachio cookie, which you'd use this other mold, you'd want to use mawarad, which is called rose water. Again, the same thing. You just open this up. See, my hands are, I always have warm hands, so I'm really good at this because my hands are always nice and warm. I'm going to put two teaspoons of filling in here. That's one. I want to sort of pack them into the teaspoon. That's two. And then what I'm going to do is just to use my finger to press it down in there a bit. And then again, we just close that up. Just press it down into our mold. Look how pretty that is. Now, these, when they come out of the oven, they get dusted. They get a fine dusting of powdered sugar. Actually, all the ones that are made with nuts, we always put a fine dusting of powdered sugar, but these date ones, we don't, we don't do that. These are delicious in the afternoon. They're not too sweet. They're excellent with like just a warm cup of tea or as a snack when you want to just something really like delicious and a little different to snack on. These are great. Do this one more. We put two teaspoons. See this one cracked a little bit? It's no problem. I just sort of 
going to press it back together once I fill it. Here I've got the walnuts in. Look, I'm just going to press that back together. Close it. Goes right down into the mold. Just use my back of my palm. There we go. You could put these on a plastic tray and freeze them or go ahead and bake them right now and they last on the counter for several days or on the refrigerator for several, um, for like about a week. So enjoy. Mamo Ptamar Jaws Arfisto. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. For more information on this recipe and my cookbook, Classic Lebanese Cuisine, please visit us at cookingwithkamal.com. I hope you enjoy preparing these recipes with your friends and family as we say in Arabic, Sahtain, double health.